Welcome to the Joy of Music. Featuring the First Lady of the Organ, Diane Bish. We invite you to meet great composers and performers. Travel to Europe's ancient monasteries and snow-covered Alps. Visit great historical cathedrals and beautiful lakes and gardens. Praise ye the Lord. Praise him with stringed instruments and organs. Praise him with a psaltery and harp. Praise him with a trumpet. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. And now, Miss Diane Bish. Welcome to the Joy of Music. Today we bring you a program of music for two pianos and organ with my special guests, the duo piano team of Nielsen and Young. But before we hear from Nielsen and Young, let's listen to the music as played on the great 117 rank Rofati organ here at the Coral Ridge Presbyterian Church in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. My special guests today on The Joy of Music are Stephen Nielsen and Ovid Young, who make up the duo piano team of Nielsen and Young. Every year, these talented musicians play over 100 concerts together here in the United States and abroad. Stephen Nielsen is a soloist in his own right and not only makes concert appearances in this country, but also teaches piano at the University of Texas. Ovid Young is a composer, a conductor, a ranger, and has accompanied over 3,500 concerts with the two great singers, Robert Hale and Dean Wilder. Won't you join us now as we play some of the great hymns of the faith for two pianos and organ.
One of the greatest romantic composers for the organ was Louis Vierne, who was organist of the Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris in the early 1900s. We hear now his famous finale from Symphony No. 1, which uses the organ in an orchestral manner and bounces the melodies between the hands and the feet.
The music of the great Franz Schubert delights us with its charm, its tunefulness, and its vitality. Typical of the eloquence of his writing is the set of moments musical from which Nielsen and Young now perform the number three in F minor. Robert Schumann was one of the great romantic composers for the piano. And one of his most famous pieces was Traumerei, or Dreaming, which comes from a set of pieces called Scenes of Childhood. We hear it now as played, however, on the great organ by using the strings and flutes with the oboe as the solo.
Fritz Kreisler was a famous violinist and composer who was born in Vienna and concertized until his death in the 60s. He was really a musical ambassador to the whole world. We hear now one of his most famous pieces, the Liebesfreude, or Love's Joy, as played by Nielsen and Young. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. Some of the favorite hymns of people across the country, both in church and in concerts, are those hymns which describe our love of both God and country. We hear now two of those patriotic hymns, the first, Eternal Father, Strong to Save, and then the exhilarating God of Our Fathers.
Thank you for joining us today on The Joy of Music as we have brought you a program for two pianos and organ with my special guests, Stephen Nielsen and Ovid Young in the duo piano team of Nielsen and Young. We thank you for joining us and we look forward to seeing you again next week on The Joy of Music.